Hey gang! Hashtag Treehouse Life. Uh, FLX Beer <laughs> Review is back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. I am Dan. Mike. Hashtag Mike. Dan, what are we drinking? We're drinking a hashtag Treehouse. Hey! Hashtag out. It's our Treehouse Day! Day! Uh, Which one is it? I'll look. It's eternity. <laughs> Where do we get this? I'll tell you what. Uh, you. Is that rust? Rust? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh shit, it might be rust. Alright, uh, so this beer, look at this label. Can you look at this label? It's beautiful. like a black tree. It's beautiful. And then, I want you to pay attention to the font that you can't, can't read. see it that so far tiny. away. Like, why even put it on there? Why even, even put it on there? Just stop writing on uh, it. This is eternity. And I'll read it off my phone because okay. there's no fucking way I'm reading this. <laughs> Nate, get your shit together at Treehouse. This is, up. you can't do this, man. Like, what's the point? What, I guess it like this, like, um, my eyes, they're too old for this. Uh, here, you can look at the, the bottle. The only library. reason I know it's Treehouse is because I know that logo. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this beer comes courtesy of Steven, a.k.a. The Resource. The bottle opener. I'll open Thank you, sir. Things all right, here you go. All right. Um, so Eternity is a barrel blended Imperial Milk Stout brewed with chocolate, coffee, and maple syrup featuring 45% Barrel aged, truth blended, with a base stout brewed with chocolate coffee, lactose, and maple syrup. Eternity pours a dense, fudgy color in the glass with a dark brown head and puts forth flavors and aromas of blah 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 blah. I'm not reading all this because well, yeah, it's, we're we're gonna review. I don't want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah thank you. As our barrel program continues to bear fruit, we find a great deal of joy offering you a beer such as Eternity at a scale for all to enjoy. Following Tree of Life blended tree of life was amazing life. uh space time continuum and vanilla bean truth That's eternity so nice. is another so wonderful nice. addition to our immense lineup of beers that aim to be packed with flavor while maintaining a pleasure pleasing drinkability so many words well that is just super brown <laughs> hashtag proper glass right yeah there. me Trails. too Look at that. That's that, a tree. Well, alchemist. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, it's like a little tree cone. Yeah, it's pine cones. It, it pine cone looks, uh, it's it looks pitch like black. densely fudge poured. It really does. They really nailed it. It's yeah. pitch black, brownie batter brown on the top. It looks... Not much had to speak of. No, but that's okay. Lace in the glass. I mean, it's just coating it. Your whiff. Oh, my God. I just smelled heaven. I just smelled that, but he says, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, so this is, uh, yep. It smells sweet. It smells decadent. It smells viscous. It's, yes, I can smell the thickness. Um, decadent is the appropriate word. Maple, yep. Vanilla, yep. Deep milk chocolate. Yep. That is like a really, I'm going to use your word again, decadent slice of rich, fudgy chocolate cake just drizzled with maple syrup. It smells, it, it smells sweet, but not a confectionery, like candied bubblegum kind of sweetness. It smells getting a little good, like carefully made. Get a little coffee. Yep. A pleasant roastiness from like a quality made cup of coffee. Don't know how old this bottle is. I don't care. I smell a little dust. I could smell this all day. Okay. You want to smell it and taste it? No, this would be a two-part review. We're just going to smell it. Okay. Part. All right, whatever. I don't want to shackle you. Cheers. Uh, thanks, Reese. Oh, what were you saying about that cake? Oh, my. It's like that dark... Chocolate indulgence cake. But then they put like the little dollops 
of the vanilla whipped oh my God. Uh, cream frosting on there and took like a semi syrup of maple and just drowned it. But uh, <clears throat> but like the cake was like brownie batter too. That's what I was going to say. It, it's become more of a a, a rich brownie batter with there's hints of raspberry in there. Mm -hmm. The dark chocolate is so rich, like it's rich like a milk chocolate, but bitter like the dark chocolate. Uh, the vanilla is such a one. It's almost like a twist custard ice cream. Um, the maple is still. It's just finely drizzled all over it. As I continue oh, to delectable suck at my hobby, mm -hmm. uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't state the ABV. 11.8 ABV. It's a hefty ABV for a hefty beer. It feels weighty. It feels creamy. Um, I think the only thing breaking it up is, in my opinion, a pleasant level of carbonation. There is. I didn't even touch on that. Yeah. There is a more it's, than appropriate level of carbonation. It's so fun. Because this, this could be so syrupy and so... Oh, yeah. Like, But that carbonation is just keeping it all in check. Mm. Uh, on the back end, through all that pastry, you mm. do get a nice kind of wood uh, oak... Um, little char then that mm -hmm. coffee mm -hmm. that's where that coffee kind of pokes through it's almost like the coffee is on the cusp of being burned but you're still getting all the rich dark aromas and flavors and it's just about to be burned appropriately uh, named eternity I feel like I could just drink this for like an eternity yeah um, what do you rate it Mike? really have a hard time not giving this a five. I'll go 4.95. Dude, this is fantastic. You swirl this? Look at the legs. And just it so coats the glass brown. 12 ounce bottle. I could drink this whole thing, but at the same time, I'm very happy sharing it. Like, I'm okay with this amount. I'd be okay with the whole bottle. This is a testament to also how many big bottled stouts have we drank? We're going, oh, I wish this was in a 12 ounce bottle because this is, it's such a perfect amount of this beer. You want more, but you've had just enough to keep you wanting more. It's amazing how much that raspberry comes out now. Right? Like, oh, wow. I could just keep pulling. Like the, the, the notes are similar to, as to what I, I said before, but you're getting more different levels of all those uh, flavor notes and everything. Mm -hmm. It almost makes me say I forgive you for challenging your eyesight, the eyesight of millions of Americans. Like, I get you want to throw it all on there, but at a certain point, why don't you just put a QR code and say, go scan where you can read it. Dude, it's a treehouse stout. I don't even think they need any information. It's like, drink it. Yeah, drink it. You'll like it. It's called eternity. <laughs> drink it. Okay. Uh, what do you rate it? Four point eight. We even talk about like, like it's it's barrel blended. Mm -hmm. I think oh, it just adds the the perfect nuance to everything going on. It this beer is so well done. Yeah, I, I, you know what? For in the moment, I I get yeah, it's it's close to a five. I told you, give four point nine five. I. I I don't know. Maybe if I just say it's a five, man. 
Okay. I did. I said, Wait, why, a little bit more body? Uh, what do you no, want? I was like, I, I was sitting there going, I have a hard time not giving this a five. It's like, all right, what if I give it a 4.95? What, what would I want more from this? More barrel? If I'm like nitpicking mm-hmm. to the point of being super nitpickery, maybe a sliver more barrel. But it's, that's me being nitpickery. I think I think a lot of that fruitiness is coming from the barrel, though. To be honest, I think you're right. I think you're right. I think a lot of those fruity notes are coming from the barrel. Yeah, it's wow. a five. No, I it, I'll it's tell you what. So good. Nothing short of some of these treehouse uh, stouts and stuff they put out are just like I said. The tree of life. My God, beer at its best. This is. Makes me want to drive the five hours, though. Like, if I saw this for sale. <sighs> Boy. How many bottles can I get? And uh, do we... Is there... Do we date? No, there's we no We didn't date. look it up or anything. Uh, Steven, uh, if you actually if you watch know, our review, please let us know. Like, I would love to know how old this <laughs> I love, is. I love how you're like, oh, nice employee, please. And I'm like, yeah, if you even watch this <laughs> till the end, you know. <laughs> I, I think he does. I what would if, love... Whatever Nate will watch this. He does. They gave a really nice, wonderful uh, tribute to uh, Gre- Greg's beer reviews on the tree. Did they really? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. So Good. Uh, double thumbs up for me. <sighs> double thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> double thumbs up. God damn it. <laughs> this review just... Yeah. It. Anyway. Um, yeah, the only thing I would like to know is how old this is. Like, if this is one of the... Because... It would be in the case of if I got more, I would want it to be this exact age, you know? Or I would want to buy a bunch of them and just fresh age at this line. And it, uh, I'd get a... I'm done. I'm over for today. <laughs> all right. Uh, down in the description below, all the link trees. Hit us up. Uh, it's got our email, IGs, all the social medias. So, Nate, if you're watching, you want to email us. Okay. All right. Um... Uh, Till next time, gang. Cheers.